Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Kovac here, and for this one I will be doing a pet spotlight on the Twilight Whelpling. Probably the most anticipated pet for me, for the new patch. So I was very much looking forward to uh, doing a video on it. Now, versus this guy. Oof. I might want to move this out of the way. There we go. He's got a singing sunflower on his team. Um, probably just start out with my Alpine Foxling. Now, the Twilight Whelpling can be found in, no surprise, Twilight Highlands. I will show you the place on the map in just a second. I just need to figure out what I'm going to do here. If he's starting out that, then I reckon I could just go into my Whelpling. I'm already faster than all of his pets. And plus, with sunlight, I'll definitely get my uh, my ratio a lot quicker. He's just uh, wait. How did that not proc my racial? That was weird. Oh well, just gonna go for dark flame now. How did that not proc my racial? <laughs> my racial's definitely got to be proc now. So. Got me a Dragon Racial Twilight Meteorite. And a Twilight Whelpling does hit harder than Twilight Clutch Sister with the Meteorite. It will do over 800 damage to one pet. Obviously, it's showing red because uh, there's an undead right here. This is about to be a lot of damage. Look at that. Look at that. Alright. Well, I basically need to stay in on my Twilight Whelpling. Yeah, he's gonna go for a consumed corpse. Yeah, no respect for this guy at all. Just some stupid, scummy sunlight team. Alright, so got me a dragon racial dark flank coming up for you. Hope you enjoy it, because, um, yeah, you deserve every bit of it. Alrighty, sunlight will be going away eventually. He's still got quite a bit of health on that damn thing back there, but his team... Their health is relatively low at the moment. I'm gonna go for a flame jet. Nice, I did get the dot off. That is very good. I'm gonna go for a curse of doom. And probably just stay in on my um detective ray. Let's see, Twilight Flame is not gonna Wait, oh, it did kill him. I had a dragon racial for it. That's awesome. Take that, you stupid, uh, ghastly kid. What are you gonna do, go into your ghastly kid? Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty good choice, I'd say. But man, is he just going all out? So, he's got his singing sunflower, so alone that pet is pretty ridiculous. He's got the ghastly kid, which, if he has... Consume magic, that's even more healing, but the whole point of that is to haunt, so he could use Consume Quartz basically as much as he wants to with his Stitch Pup. Which is absolutely ridiculous. He's just being a, uh... How do I say this? Well, I really wanted to say a dickhead, but... Some people may find that offensive. If this guy finds it offensive, I honestly could care less. Because, why would you run... Such a scumbag team. Oh, he brought in the Sunflower. I didn't think he was going to do that quite yet. Oh well, I'm going to stay in on my Fox now. Ooh, that was a nice double. If you could be so nice as to proc my Racial, that would be pretty lovely. I should have this in the bag, I'd imagine. Unless if something just goes terribly wrong. Let's see, are you going to stay in and try to go for a solar beam? Or are you going to take some big damage on your Stitch Pup by bringing it in? Either way, something's going to take a lot of damage. I mean, it would have been even more damage had you uh, got a triple hit right there, but you can't go for Consume Corpse now. He could try to, but that would be a very stupid decision. What a dumb swap. How are you going to play Sunlight and play this badly, yo? 
You're just going to uh, keep swapping around thinking it's going to do something for you. I'm just going to keep spamming Flurry. You'll lose eventually. I don't know what your game plan is here, buddy. But it's definitely not winning. Are you going to let the turn timer run down? Oh, you poor sod. You poor sod. You just killed off your singing sunflower. No respect for you. At all. Alrighty. Well, a simple double hit from Flurry will take out your dumb stitch pup. Not that this pet is a bad like a bad pet or something, but like, oh, how cute. You went for a consumed corpse. You run away too. Cower in defeat right there. Good job, Twilight Wilpling. Uh, I don't think I would have won that if I didn't have the Twilight Wilpling on my team to get that big burst damage in the beginning. Because uh, the Ghastly Kid did end up dying back there when it came back to life because it still had uh, that burn effect from Twilight Fire. Let's go ahead and roll with, uh, let's roll with this team next. So anyway, back to Twilight Wilpling. It had come out with the patch uh, yesterday. And like I said, it is located in Twilight Highlands. Let me just go ahead and show you where. So if we go all the way over here, it is located right in this area. See along this trail? Uh, I believe it's called Grimba Tall or something like that. But it's right in this area. When I went there, there wasn't anybody else there. There were quite a bit of whelplings, but now with people probably going to find out where it is because of like this video, uh, this may or may not turn into a Menfernal kind of spawn. I'm not too sure. I don't know the spawn timers on the pets themselves, but for me, there were quite a bit of them. As I said, I was the only one there. Now, as far as breeds go, after some careful... Uh, investigation we've learned that there are three potentially four or more breeds I happen to have two of them a uh, health power which is this one and then the power speed which was the one I was using against the sunlight guy uh, preferably I do prefer the power speed breed because I feel like you can get off more attacks with the extra speed but for this team I kinda needed the health power because the power speed had less health, and it's not going to work with the strategy that I'm trying to do with Portal. So, yeah, I had to use this one. It should do fine, though. The difference between this and the other breed is that um, uh, there's about 100 less health on the power speed one, but it has extra speed. They had the same amount of attack power, which, uh, look at that Twilight Meteorite. 844. That's against one pet. Split evenly, that is over 250 damage per pet. Assuming that they're not a, um, a magic or a undead type. To put this in perspective, this is way more than Graze back in the day. Way more damage when he was uh, running rampant. So if that isn't a bit too OP, then I don't know what is. Now do I think this pet is better? Then uh, the Twilight Clutch Sister? Absolutely not. I mean, that speed is everything for the Clutch Sister with its uh, dodge. So, 1v1, the Clutch Sister probably would destroy uh, the Twilight Whelpling. But the Twilight Whelpling is definitely a force to be reckoned with. For sure, a tier 1 pet. Uh, obviously, the main build you will go with is Twilight Fire along with Twilight Meteorite. And the middle option is actually debatable. Either or is justifiable. But most of the time you probably will run Dark Flame as it is a pretty good ability. And there aren't very many good pets with Dark Flame. But Wild Magic could have its uses as well. It just really depends on uh, the type of team that you're running it on. And hopefully not another Sunlight guy. Okay, thank goodness. We got an ordinary team. This is what I love. But beating a Sunlight team now, that is something I'll take any day. Alright, so starting out, we're going to start out with the Rebellious Imp. Uh, go ahead and throw up an Immolation. If he's going to go for Bone Storms, he's going to be damaging himself, although he is probably going to run a different build. 
Uh, gonna go ahead and portal out now. Okay, he's got chop. Alrighty, now we shall go for Twilight Fire. He goes another chop. And get wild magic up on him as soon as I can. Oh, he's got Ice Spike, and thank goodness he missed. Because that is a load of damage. Let me go ahead and go for a Twilight Meteorite. Ooh, we swapped out, too. Ah, wow, that is just ridiculous damage, man. Let's see. How much did it do to the proto Whelp? Over 400 to the proto Whelp. Oh my goodness. Uh, Bone Chard's already gonna die. This is gonna be doing quite a bit of damage, but I mean, look at his team. There's no doubt in my mind this is a good pet. I mean, it's just putting in absolute work. Oh man, that's just ridiculous. Oh god. Oh, I didn't mean to select that. Um, actually, I guess I kind of did because it's not a bad, bad thing to go into. As it should be able to do quite a bit of damage to the, uh, the proto whelp. I am faster than him. I don't have portal quite yet. Okay, he's got tail sweep. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now, do you have a heal of some sort? Are you not going to show me? Because if you don't show me, uh, you're going to end up going down. Yeah, you're going to go down. All right, well, a simple um, swallow you whole will take you down. And nicely done. That literally lasted only 12 rounds. Mainly because of the Twilight Whelpling. It's a damn good pet. No surprise. Uh, definitely a lot easier to get than the Clutch Sister. And surprise, surprise, we're going to go ahead and play a all Dragonkin team. In case maybe you want to run it to try and get your uh, Dragonkin family brawler. And why not just pair it up with a Clutch Sister? Let's, uh, let's fight fire with fire, I guess. Now, if I go against the All Darkness team, obviously this is going to lose. If I go against the Nimbus Half Idol, more than likely going to lose. Uh, this is just to be funny. I'm not trying to, like, troll anybody. Uh, do I think it's going to work? It really depends on what I go against. But, yeah, I'm really liking this pet. It's a pretty beautiful little Whelpling. And we have quite a bit of Whelplings in the game. And so far, I think this is my favorite as far as... Uh, the looks go, it's just, it's got that beautiful little violet, purplish color to it. Uh, it looks great. And why would you ever, ever take Wing Buffet or Breath over the counterpart right here? I mean, this is what makes Twilight Whelpling a damn good pet, as well as the Clutch Sister. Uh, this middle row right here is really what's debatable. You really could run either and do well, but um, yeah, that's just really up to you. And I really hope that Blizzard, or not Blizzard, but um, like whoever's behind the Pet Battle add-ons to update the Pet Battle Breed ID soon. That way we can uh, have a better idea of all these breeds for these new pets because uh, as far as we know, we're just going into this blind. Unless, of course, the pet only has one breed. For example, uh, Minimancer, he's an HH breed. Which uh, I look forward to doing a video with him. He looks pretty cool. Opponent declined. Aw, oh, damn. Oh well. Such a small little whelpling, too. I think he might be the smallest uh, little whelpling pet model that we have in the game. I mean, look at him. <laughs> He's pretty cool. I love him. Uh, man. Whether or not we'll be seeing him come into the meta, I'm not too sure. I'm sure that a lot of people will still stick with the old traditional Twilight Clutch Sister. Mainly because it's a lot faster than the, uh, than the Whelpling. But who knows? Maybe we'll see it. I mean, it is wild caught, so you technically is a lot easier to get in the clutch sister you don't have to rely on a uh, drop chance I guess the only thing you would really have to worry about is competition if this pet gets really sought after but 
As far as its spawn rate, I'm honestly not too sure. But uh, I'd say this team right here possibly could be the best team that I have with it so far, although this team is definitely not something to scoff at, as you already saw. Uh, Twilight Whelpling basically 1v3 that guy's team, pretty much. They put in absolute work. So let's see if uh, this all dragon can, can pull out a W. If it can, that'd be great. If not, then I won't worry. Okay, it's against the same guy. Now, one advantage he does have is that he does have an undead, so obviously Twilight Meteorite isn't going to do as much damage to him. He's also got a magic type, which even though this does do strong damage to him, he does have that racial at his disposal. But... I mean, this is still going to be a crap ton of damage. And he's literally one damn point faster than me. <laughs> Ain't that terrific. I'm still going to do a crap ton of damage to you. Look at that. Already got the racial proct. Going to go ahead and go for Twilight Meteor right now because he does have Ice Spike. If it hits and crits, uh, it won't kill me, but it'll get pretty close. Oh wow, he swapped out. I mean, oh, that crit. That's just insane damage. If, if that doesn't need a nerf, then I don't know what does. And I've only really realized that recently. Before, I was always like, yeah, Clutch Sister, that's a good pet and all. And then Twilight Whelpling comes along with extra power. Okay, something needs to be done about Twilight Meteor, right? I mean... It shares the same cooldown as a bunch of other AoE abilities. It just does absurd amount of damage. So yeah, I'm kind of joining more in the boat that uh, something ought to be done about this ability. Because look at this, another dragon racial. I mean, need I say more? And I'm not trying to be mean to this guy at all. I mean, it's just such a damn good OP ability. Oh man. I'm gonna go ahead and dodge right here. Oh, he can still place that down. Okay. Although I don't think it will start stacking unless if it can like physically hit me. There goes a defensive ability right there. Let's go ahead and bring in my my little um, bronze whelpling. I haven't used this pet in a long while, which is why I kind of forgot about its name for a second there. But I still love this pet. I remember going out and getting uh, the SS breed myself. And it took quite a while, let me tell you that. Pretty low drop chance. Alright, and one more Arcane Slash will get the job done. Oh man. Twilight Meteorite twice with a Dragon Racial, that's just absurd amount of damage. Goodness me. But it really truly shows that these pets are pretty overpowered. I wonder how a Twilight, Whelpling, Blackfuse, Bombling, and Merkelot team would be. Obviously with Clutch Sister, I've heard horror stories that uh, that is a pretty overpowered team in its own right. But I don't know if Twilight, Whelpling would be a better candidate than the Clutch Sister. I mean, it's got extra power, so I'm assuming that Righteous Inspiration is just going to make that damage skyrocket. And here we go with Triple Mechanicals, although I have a crap ton of elemental damage, so... Yeah, that's just good for me. It really doesn't matter who he starts out with. My biggest concern for my dragon is probably the Clockwork Gnome if he has Blitz. But he did not start out with him, so that's good. Oh, that's a good choice, although this is still going to be a lot of damage. Uh-oh, he's going for a supercharge. Oh, uh, where are you going to supercharge? Hmm. Do I really have any use for my fox? Not really. Although I really don't want to let this Dragon Racial go to waste. So I'll go ahead and do that. 
Alright, he used it on a laser, okay. Alright, well let's just go ahead and throw out another Twilight Fire then. Alright, he'll die from the dot, so I am safe to swap out. The laser is not a mechanical ability, so it's not going to do extra damage to me. If I can get my speed boost up, that would be great for my dragon, as then it will be faster than the clockwork gnome. Alright, here I'm just going to go for damage while I can against this iron starlet. Ooh, now whether or not he's going to go for a wind-up right out the bat, I'm not too sure. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for Dazzling Dance. And yeah, he did. Okay. That's perfectly fine. I just hope that you don't have uh, Toxic Smoke, because that will take me down. I'm going to go ahead and go for Dark Flame first, so I can get my Racial for yet a, another Twilight Meteorite. God, this ability. Oh man, he did have toxic sm smoke. That absolutely saved him right there. Uh, I don't know if it's going to win in the game, but it certainly saved him a lot of damage on his Clockwork Gnome. But I still have Flame Jet. And if I get the dot off, that'll be... Oh man. That's just great. I mean, I got a crit. Flame Jet dot is up. He's got... Build the rocket. Yeah, he ran away. There... I can't blame him, really. I mean, that's just stupid damage right there, like you saw. That is insane damage. I mean, what are you supposed to do, man? Oh, man. you just We just gotta hope that maybe, maybe Blizzard will do something about this ability. Because it's been running rampant for over a year now. Probably almost two years. But if they're going to do something about Twilight Meteorite, then please, common sense will tell them they also have to do something about Jar Smilly Liquid, uh, Sunlight Teams, because that stuff is ridiculous as well. I'm sure there are a bunch of other pets or abilities that could use a change, but those are the primary ones. Oh god, I'm loving this pet so far. It's, it's pretty great, there's just no denying that. Man, <clears throat> it is too good. Whew. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. I'm going to do that. There we go. Everything is running nice and smoothly. And we're just going to go ahead and wait for this next battle. But yeah, like I said again, I'll go ahead and show it again in case you didn't get it the first time. It is in Twilight Highlands. I went over there yesterday and I was looking all over the zone. And I never had been over in this area. But it is right in this area where this trail is. And like I said, I do think it's called Grimbatal, if I'm not mistaken. I was over there on my mage yesterday. And uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to get to Twilight Highlands. You simply just uh, go to your capital city. So obviously Stormwind or Horde, or for Horde it will be Org. Take the portal to Twilight Highlands and you're already there. So simple as that. Pretty easy to uh, get to. And I think their levels are like 23, something like that. So not at all hard to get. Pretty damn simple. Especially if you have the um either Grumpy or... Lord Wolfington, so you can use Howl and Super Bark. Those two pets are probably two of the best uh, pets that you could use for capturing wild pets. So they're pretty great. Pretty damn good. Wasn't at all hard to get. Especially um, getting multiples, because we were trying to crack down on what kind of breeds it had. And uh, it does have multiple breeds. At first, we did think that there was only one breed, being a balanced balance, but, uh, no, we were surely mistaken.
Uh, let's see, you've been waiting in queue for a little while now. I'll just go ahead and leave and click find battle again. Hoping to try and get in one more battle before I end the video. Showcasing this awesome pet right here. Definitely worth your time getting, I would have to say. Seven seventy two compared to a whopping eight forty four. <laughs> oh, that's insane. So let's see about let's see thirty thirty about a little over seventy damage extra on the whelpling. That's just insane. I could probably get the actual calculations right here of how much damage it would do to each pet without a crit and without it being a magic and or undead type. So we take 844 divided by 3 and the damage is 281. Wow, that that's almost 300 damage. That's almost like a mini righteous inspiration uh let's see like another like a different aoe ability that you use with righteous inspiration that is that's insane 281 to each pet that's a lot of damage a load of damage and here we go let's hop into this uh last battle here hope to end it off on a win as always and let's see what we can do Hopefully, not that sunlight guy. But, um, it could be maybe a challenge if it was something more competitive. Oh, it's all mechanicals again. Alrighty, well, again, I have all mechanical damage, and my beast is still faster than all of your mechanicals, so this ought to do. Well, not ought to do, but ought to be quite well for me. So obviously start out with Rally Ascent. Go ahead and wait for him to hopefully set up his whole usual stuff. Hopefully he doesn't go for wind up right off the bat, that would kind of suck. Nope, I guess he hasn't faced a Rally Simp often. So that's good for me, I'm gonna go ahead and portal now. Now he does have Toxic Smoke, I gotta remember that. But I'm literally a point faster than him, so that is absolutely great. Wow, crit right there. He might even die this turn, to be honest with you. Oh, he went for a wind-up. Oh my goodness. Buddy, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. But, like, 
can you really can you really blame him for leaving like that that's just absurd this is such an absolute mechanical slash um magic type killer i mean that's just insane it's insane damage i didn't even get to get off twilight meteorite and the game was pretty much already decided right there but um yeah that just goes to show this is such a great pet so with that being said um really hope you guys enjoyed again pet spotlight awesome pet for sure tier one possibly tier zero just like the uh the clutch sister maybe I'm not too sure if it's going to really make an appearance in the meta i mean it's certainly a damn good pet we'll just have to see whether it uh overrises or overthrows the clutch sister maybe they'll both equally be as popular i guess we'll just have to wait and see but uh yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this is kovac and i will see you guys in the next one peace out